Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Uh, in my conversations and debates, discussions with friends, enemies, uh, people that I just interacted for an intellectual uh, conversation, I sometimes I wondered why certain people who a lot of power and a lot of money and at a certain age do not or are afraid to get involved and try to show or tell the other side of the story. And they're afraid or they're too comfortable, um, you know, to speak against certain kind of things that are definitely wrong, or at least say, uh, have an alternative uh, viewpoint. And um, I looked at people who have billions of dollars let's say they are about 65 or 68, and I'm not trying to um, you know, say, okay, you're gonna die so you can you have nothing to lose. No, no, I'm not talking about that. But if you are 25 and they have more time to uh, destroy you, and if you have about 50 million, billion, or million, billion dollars, which is a lot of money, I don't have one billion dollars, so I, you know, don't get me wrong. Yeah, you're gonna lose some billions. I couldn't, I could, maybe, you want to lose some connections, but you're going to create other connections. I wondered why there are no, this kind of people showing up and saying, you know what, this is an, I don't think that's right. I think this is a, let me question that. They seem all uh, beaten into a retreat, you know, into submission. And now I see this guy that I didn't care for, Elon Musk. I didn't care, okay, whatever he does over there, who seem to do exactly that. He bought Twitter and it seems to allow, you know, posts or freedom of speech as much as possible. As much as possible is, uh, you know, trying to, uh, you know, uh, not allow, I'm assuming, a certain kind of speech would be threatening or, um, um, you know, scaring people in a way of, uh, oh my God, creating panic. But I could not believe that Twitter will fall under the monitoring eyes of the United Nations. Now, I understand that these weasels here uh, like the status quo and they would, you know, try to destroy uh, Elon Musk because he, he, can you believe, he wants freedom of speech be widen, then narrowed, infringed. And we have here an article that talks about the United Nations monitoring cautiously the Twitter purchase. This article comes from Sputnik and it's from today, the 31st of October 2022. United Nation says watching Twitter, quote unquote, closely post Musk takeover and warns against pushing hate speech. Question, is ha hate speech illegal? And it should be illegal. Question, should it be illegal? Are you allowed to hate something or someone? Are you allowed to hate inside of you but not say it? Or how does that work? I know that there are some little laws somewhere that if you uh, commit a crime and they can say that you committed it because you were hate motivated because something you didn't like, I don't know, the color green or something and the guy wore a green shirt and that's a hate crime. You know what I mean? So that, but that's an extension. I don't think there should be extra penalty for that, but that's, that's my uh, preference. Um, I don't think a hate speech, you, I think you should be allowed to like things or dislike things or really uh, uh, insult people and be insulted. Uh, you have the right to get offended or offend other people. I think the society will decide in pushing you to the side in a way like, I don't want to talk with this guy because he insulted me. I'm not going to talk to him, but it's my choice. But he can insult me how much he wants, you know? Or I can, you know, you just choose not to communicate with this person because He's not communic communicating at the connection where I would like to communicate with him. I don't want to say level because they would sound, oh, wait a second. But that's what, actually what I mean. And maybe he's communicating way above me and I 
can communicate that high, so I'm not, we don't have a connection anywhere. That's the other opportunity, possibility. So United Nations is involved in monitoring Twitter all of a sudden, because I don't remember them monitoring it prior to this guy. Why? Because it was perfect before. Seems like, right? That's why they uh, want us to, to think. So let's move on here. The United Nations is closely watching how Twitter is being used after Elon Musk's buyout amid concerns over the promotion of hate speech on social media. Spokesperson Stefan Dujaric said on Monday. Stefan is a man, so a spokesman here. Uh, well, he says, uh, over the promotion of hate speech. Uh, I would like to know how they promote hate speech twitter says come on people come and hate uh, come and hate hate everybody who hates is gonna get five dollars from my pocket is that how they promote that or they provide a free speech free speech platform is that what it is is that a problem mr stefan it seems like it is you don't like it it's like a movie if the movie is bullshit you don't watch it but you don't try to ban it I mean, there's so many movies that are inaccurate historically. I don't go and ban it. And they tell us, oh, it's based on a true story. How much? 1%? 2%? 10%? Where exactly is based on that? Because I can make a movie based on a real story about certain historical uh, people, personage, that really I can turn it into something else. Let's say I make a, a movie about uh, Bill Clinton, I can make him a saint. Or I can make, let's say, a movie about uh, Hitler and making a devil. I can make, you know what I mean? So, and then, then what? Don't watch the movie. If you don't like it, don't watch the movie. But, you, how do you know the truth? By open discussion. By evidence. But if I'm not allowed to talk, to speak about it, then the only, uh, the only option there is over there is just your option. Your opinion. If you censor me. Therefore... I'd rather have people who have naughty ideas having them out because you can see them they're naughty, because you can prove they're naughty. You know? uh, instead of uh, controlling. controlling. And who's controlling all these things? Who's going to control what's acceptable and what's not? Other human being. I want to be that one. Why not? I don't trust anybody else to tell me what the truth is until I verify. And how do I verify? Multiple sources. And if there's no multiple sources, I don't really believe that. I take it and I hold it there somewhere in the back of my head and wait. But I'm not going to use it as a fact. I'm going to wait. I say, well, they, they said this, but you know, the problem is I don't, I'm not, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't have the evidence. So let us talk. Let us debate. Let us have a market of ideas and share them and debate them. He says, we have expressed our concern that Twitter and other social media companies cannot be used as a platform for accelerating hate, disinformation or discrimination. We are watching the situation very closely. Well, it's a lot of things I can unpack there, but the UN has not heard any specific contacts with Twitter. He had it. He had not had. Okay, the United Nations is a big user of Twitter, having dozens of accounts. I think United Nations lies a lot. And I think it's in, engaged in uh, some miss and this. And it's still having an account on Twitter. So she, it, it should be happy. But no, they want like this. You know how that just us? Yeah, just us, not justice. Just us, the same here. We should be allowed, but anybody that would be able to oppose our statements that sometimes are half-truth or hide certain kind of uh, events and reality, those guys should not be allowed to do it. Only we are. So we have the platform for our own little uh, uh, use. No, no. You can do that in other bullshit. You can use CNN, you can use MSNBC, you can use any other ones over there, including parts of Fox, okay? Fox without maybe four programs over there, everything else is kind of the same as the other ones more or less so yeah you can you have the rest you have the mainstream mass media Pfft, okay the free mass media yeah 
So on Thursday, says the Musk closed a $44 billion deal to acquire quit, uh, quitter, <laughs> Twitter. So, and he fires the tweeters, the tweeters, the, he, uh, the weasels over there who used to work over there and kept the, the Twitter working in a certain way, let's put it this way. And now everybody is scared that uh, you can hear from everybody else. No, no. Because believe me, there are certain kind of uh, areas where you will not hear but only one side. Why? Because the other side is buried. And let's say you do a tweet on, uh, I don't know, truth and justice, and you hear only certain things about truth and justice. And everybody, everything else about coming from other people about truth and justice will be at the bottom. That means about uh, 10,345 uh, option that you go have to scroll three days until to get to it to find it and if you put that person's name even that person's name doesn't come I have I had one example like this for instance on a certain kind of platform where I put that guy's name I knew the exact name and I knew the beginning of the title of his lecture or speech but I put it didn't show it to me I had to go like I don't know like 50 50 options or whatever to find the guy but I gave it things and everything that came above him were not the exact things that I said. So let's say I said Emil Kosman 123. And I put over there Emil Kosman 123. And I have a video Emil Kosman, let's say 123. It would not show on that per person, specific uh, person that I was looking, it would not show that video Emil Kosman 123, but maybe uh, uh, the sev seventh option, suggestion. And everything else you're going to see, I don't know, one, two, three, EC, blah, blah, blah. Other things that are really further from what you wrote, which coincides exactly with the title. I did that. And uh, why? Because that guy, Emil Kosman, one, two, three, was not really telling what these guys uh, tried to push. That's why they buried it at the 70th. That guy was the 70th. And then I knew other ones the same way because I was listening to that guy sometime before the same way. You find it, you say, where is this guy? Where is this guy? He's gone. So I don't want that to happen. I, I want it really to be on, uh, on, um, on fairness, or not fairness, but justice. I don't want, and I say discrimination. That's what you mean, discrimination? Yeah, there's very much discrimination of ideas. When you bury certain ideas and you allow only certain ideas, or if you have people who come with those ideas, you just do something to them, like, I don't know, ban them for a while, you know, and then they, they get the, the, the hint. And if they want to use the same platform, they will not touch that subject. They will not even try to touch it because they're going to be banned again. And another one, another one, another one, and you know what happens. So then they will say, I'm done. So when you're going to search that subject, you're going to hear, hear only the subjects that are allowed. They're over there, not the other ones. The other ones, the guys already uh, entered the self, uh, you know, how do you call that? Uh, censor. So the other ones already uh, uh, self-censored and they will not touch that subject. So you hear only the weasels that are allowed to and they talk all kind of bullshit and you don't, you can't counter that. You can't because if you want to post it, you're going to be out. That, that's how sometimes you have uh, unanimity in ideas in certain subjects when you go on certain kind of platforms and say, oh, look at these guys. Everybody says the same thing. It's not because everybody says the same thing. It's because the other side, you don't hear it because they censor themselves or they know better because they tried. Or you find them in the, in the suggestion 3,599 if you checked 15 minutes scroll down and nobody has that time, okay? So yeah, uh, United Nations is just uh, scared that there will be people who are gonna counter their bullshit. Like many other up there, they're afraid are shitless right now, thinking, oh my God, our bu bullshit. And then try to label it as hate speech, uh, misinformation, disinformation, and so on. How much disinformation exists on that subject over there that, I was, that is, is allowed to be spewed? <laughs> but if you come with the other side that contradicts the misinformation, that's misinformation because it destroys your misinformation. But... Um, this, this is the world we live in and we have to, as I said, we, we are like, like in a, uh, it's dark outside, it's a midnight and you have to go home. You came from, par from a party and you have to go through a very narrow, I don't know, two meter wide uh, street 
you know, and you go and go over there and it's about, I don't know, 100 meters or 50 meters. And you know that people take shits over there and you can't see them. And you go and you just try to jump from one side to another so you don't jump in the shit. And when you get on the other side, you look at your soul and say, what, I have they step on any? That's how we have to maneuver. We have to be careful we don't step on those shits that should not be there from in the first place. But we have to be. You don't see shit. Oh my God. Oh, and then... Did I step on one? Jesus Christ, and you're slippery. Yeah, I got one, or two, or three. And then what do you need to do? Oh my God, then it starts work if you have shoes, nice shoes. Or even if you don't, because if you have bad shoes, just fuck them instead of washing, it's gonna stink forever. Why? I know that. <laughs> I come from Romania, remember? It happened, especially when you go with a train uh, and you try to go through the... <laughs> I'll, I'll have another video on Romanian trains right after this. Watch that one. It's uh, very revealing of the Romanian society. And that was another reason why I said, that Romania, I don't want that. How come other countries can do it, but we can't? How, other, how come other nationalities can do it, but Romanians can't do it? Something wrong that. And I can't blame the Hungarians. I can't blame the Turks. I can't do my reparations for anything. It's just something in the culture. Oh my God. I don't know, something. But well, I want to discuss it in the next video. So come with me. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.